All right. Timer's over. It is 3.30 p.m. And we're going to start playing Super Mario RPG Part 2. Let's get it going. All right. Gotta wait for it to load here. Let me turn up the volume. In the game. Actually, make sure I'm connected. Because I wasn't just a minute ago. Alright. Let's see here. Get the volume. I should have done this earlier, but I didn't. Uh, let's see. It should be good, hopefully. Alright. There's the intro. I'm just gonna let it play, because I like it. I haven't seen too many of these places in the game so far. Actually, I don't even know if we've seen any of them yet. Oh, we've seen that one, obviously. That was at the uh, end of part one, where we got the first star, Hammer Bros. That's a cool spot uh, that is coming up very soon, Midas Falls, and Midas Falls part two. Uh, that's the one we're gonna, well, very shortly after uh, what we're doing here. We'll be there. Pretty much all this stuff you're seeing right now is gonna be in part two, including this right here, the previous one. That part, uh, well, the place where they're at is in the next one, but like I said last time, that never actually happens. That's going to be in part three, probably. As is that. Actually, I think that's part two right there. Uh, part three, I believe. Yeah, okay, so it's on the part three uh, stuff right now. Just a little teaser. We'll get to it. So don't worry. Kind of a long intro. That's alright though. Still waiting on uh, C Mac to get back and anyone else to show up. If you are in the chat, just feel free to say hi so I know you're here. Super Mario RPG, there we go. There's our save. Level 6. We got Mario and Mallow. And we're in the Mushroom Kingdom right now, so... 
Let's do a quick status check here. Awesome, Mal is about to level up. Alright, and if you remember last time we talked to the innkeeper, or not the innkeeper, the shopkeeper here. Uh, he told us to head on over to um, Tadpole Pond to meet Frog Fucius. Frog Fucius, see! Man with hand in pocket, feel cocky all day. Okay. Um, this is the entrance. Grandpa says watch out for Bellome, wherever that is. It's probably a little dark down there, so keep alert. This is a Kiro Kiro Sewers. Gonna save it. Or Kiro Sewers. Oh man, I'm an idiot. It's not Kiro Kiro. Oh well. So there's a sign. Might as well read it. Read directions on how to enter. Yes. Stand on the pipe and push down on the control pad. If you're pressing several buttons at the same time, you will not be able to enter. To re enter a pipe, jump off once and try again. Easy enough. So, I am going to go ahead and fight these guys for the XP. And when you're in the water and you attack somebody, or run into somebody, you get to fight underwater. So that's pretty cool. Not too tough. Kill the fishies. Actually, the gobies. Whatever that is. Ah. Uh, don't know how that missed. Any more fishies to kill? No. Alright, so I'm going to head on over here. Right. Hopefully I'm doing this right. I haven't played in quite some time, but I believe this is the correct way. There's actually a glitch here that you could do. I don't know if it's a glitch or not, but basically you jump on top of the ghost, attack, run away, and then you can actually use that to springboard up to the other level. Uh, let's see if I can do that. Okay, there we go. Yeah. I don't know if they intended that to happen, but it just happened. I think doing that allows you to skip a lot of the stuff. Um, but I'm not sure. I believe this is a monster. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get some XP before I do that. Sewer rats, or rat funk as they're called. Really. Actually, uh, now that I think about it, that treasure chest that we saw might be a star. lot of XP, but uh, doesn't hurt. Every little bit counts. And they're pretty easy, so why not? I like how these rats are just dancing in the, uh, in the sewer. Let's see what's down here, because I don't remember. Oh. Do the rats respawn? No. Uh, 
I'm gonna think I'm gonna assume that's a star for now and come back to it later. Okay, so this is that was just a shortcut basically. Let's go back to how we're supposed to do it. Um, yeah, so I came through there. I'm gonna pop in over here. Oh, I should fight the ghost this time. The big boo! Shadow. It's interesting that the shadow casts a shadow. There it is. Level 6. Pretty good boost to HP, defense, attack. Actually, pretty good to everything. Not too bad. Uh, we'll go with attack, because he's pretty weak, so... Gotta boost boost that attack, though. Alright, so here's the bottom of that little shortcut part. Or whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Uh, that one, I believe, is the monster. One of these is a damn monster. I know that. Ah, there it is. Alright, so we're gonna fight this guy. I don't know how much uh, hit points he has. Or how many hit points he has, rather. Oh, okay. So he's fire resistant. Psychopath. That's the new skill that we just got with Mallow. Uh, it's good for bosses. It lets you see how many hit points they have. And if you time it right, you get like a little special trivia thing like that. They just say something cool. Trying to sleep, okay? So I guess we woke him up. That might explain why he's fire resistant. Because he casts fire spells. And he's red, orange, so. Not terrible damage, it's pretty good. Yeah! Should be going down pretty soon. That is one thing about this game, um, there's not really an HP, uh, gauge on the, uh, monster, so I don't know if that's different from any RPGs, but, uh, it is what it is. Hey, Vidoy, welcome. Aw, yeah. Here we keep on. I like that. Since I jumped down here, I might as well go through here and check it out. Status. Oh, by the way, we got a flower jar from that, um... Dude, I'm gonna change the title of the stream because it's not Kiro Kiro series. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Uh, if it lets me change the stream, give me just a sec. Kiro series, there we go. And the chat's back up. Should be anyway. Uh, not all RPGs let you know your enemies. That is true. I just didn't know if it was any different in, um, like Final Fantasy or Chrono Trigger because, again, I have never played those. Because I am a sad, sad little man. I'm just gonna clear the area. Um, because it's pretty much free XP, so. And Mario's about to level up. So. Hey Vidoy, I just want to know, uh, can you tell me if you uh, can hear the game? I'm sure you could probably hear me just fine, but I want to know if the, uh, the game is hearable, audible.
Now that you mention it, I think that is correct uh, with the HP of the monsters in Paper Mario. Uh, Goombario. Um, uh, Goombario can tattle. Thanks, man. Uh, cool. So we're going to kill these guys. I think that's the Griefer. Nope, that's the Hobgoblin. Uh, I've always thought they kind of look like hobos. And since this is the sewer, maybe they're underground sewer hobos. I don't know. But they do have kind of a freaky mushroom dog face kind of thing going on. Skeleton looking. So yeah, I don't know. If I'm not mistaken, that is a theme to some other part of the game, too. Um, that little spell he did, Elegy, or Elegy, um, it makes it to where you can't cast magic. It's kind of like silence. I imagine a plumber down in the sewers hitting rats with a hammer. Well, that's pretty much what's happening. But, uh... Yeah, he's like an exterminator, I guess. Exterminator! Boom. Hey, I kinda needed that. HP man. Ah, uh, Why are you running? Why are you scared? Pure water. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, that actually gets rid of ghosts. Um, defeats ghosts in a week. Yep. But I don't think it allows you to um, get XP from that. I'm not sure. I think I came through here already. Yep. Okay. Kind of weird how he stands before them and hit the hammer. I always thought the same thing. They're not actually physically hitting them. They're just hitting the ground in front of them. And it kills them. Maybe it's a shockwave. Uh, one more over here, and then I'm going to see... Yeah, let's go down here, because I am trying to explore all the parts. All the things... Hobgoblin. I think they count as ghosts. Uh, well, let's find out. Yep. I think after this fight, I'll go ahead and equip the poison badge or whatever it's called on Mario. Because um, getting poison sucked. Antidote pin, there it is. Awesome. Pure water sells to... 25, or sells four, 25 coins a piece, so it's good to keep with you. Um, good to know. I have always uh, sold it. I just wanted to kind of uh, give an example if anyone else is watching and hasn't seen that yet. I'm pretty sure the shadow counts as a ghost because, well, look at it. It's a creepy ghost looking thing. The rats do not count as ghosts because they're rats, not ghosts. Awesome. Pretty sure I didn't have to do that, but like I said, I'm doing it for the XP. Yeah, okay, so I'm pretty certain that is a star right there. Uh, when I say star in a, up there, I am referring to like the power stars from... Um, 
like the regular Mario platforming games, they make you invincible and kill enemies, which you saw in part one. We did that, uh, I think it was at Bandit's Way, or Mushroom Way, or something. I think it's interesting that they're carrying pure water, uh, rats, no less, are carrying pure water down in the sewer. It's like, what are they doing with that? And how did they get it? Poison! Oh yeah, the uh, poison effect makes your guys kind of green and purple. Um, look at that, 6 HP. That's pretty good. I can get four more. Which looks like that's what we're going to do. Woo! Okay, I think... Okay, well, that's one pipe... Uh, I'm trying to see if I can get the star and then rush out and get those ghosts with it. Uh, let's see. I think I just went the wrong way. But I did forget to fight these guys, so might as well do that. So far, I haven't had to use any pick-me-ups, or mushrooms, or syrups, so that's good. Flower, always good to have. I'll go ahead and use a mushroom on Mala to heal him and to make room for one more item because the box that pops up and tells you you can't carry any more items, that's annoying. Ah. Uh. Yeah, you run. You rat. Like I said, I always try to go after the stronger uh, enemies first, because they are the ones that tend to do the most damage. Lucky. I wonder if it's going to be for XP or coins. There's actually an item that you can get later in the game, a uh, lucky egg I believe it's called, and you can use it to uh, get this mini game pop up after a battle. Um, so it can be really good for boss battles as long as you don't mess up. But uh, let's see, you want, they want to do experience, let's do it. I want to say the middle, and I'm right. Not too bad. I hate it when they run. Let's see if I can get it one more time. Nope. Okay. Alright, so that's what that staircase type of thing was. Okay. I will try to see if I can reach the ghosts by doing this. Uh, I'm gonna try to lure this one closer because they'll follow you.
Oh, well, as long as you don't look at him, it is. Ah! Well, there goes that. Alright, come on. Come on. Oh, you can't. Okay. I always wonder why the ghosts are shy. And same with the shy guys. There's a lot of shy enemies in Mario. Alright. Get out of here. Ah. Uh. Well, that didn't work as planned. Oh well. I like the music in this. Actually, I like the music in most of the game. So. Alright, let's check status, see if they're close. Mal is close, so might as well. Oh, actually, let's try... I'm gonna try to run away and do that little glitch thing again, see if that that didn't work. Gotta jump on top of him. Uh which I did not do. Okay, maybe that I guess that is too high. Come on. Nope. I'm only gonna try a few more times. Uh, I don't want to waste all day doing this. Okay, no mas. I'm gonna kill the ghosts and then uh, proceed. Dead damage, though. Did that just say flower jar? No. Yeah, I guess I'll save these uh, pure waters, sell them, and then uh, get the Game Boy. Mm. I like how that scary face just damages you. Damages you, rather. Indo bubble. I always thought that was a cool effect. Wong. Oh, 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 wait a minute. That might have been it. Arg. <laughs> I think I got him in the right place. Ah. Uh. Oh, 
I can get it later, uh, in the game, without glitching, but I've never really been able to do it in the beginning, so... Ah! <laughs> there we go. That's a first! Oh, but... Hey, I wonder if I can get another ghost up here, get the Cricket Gem. Uh... Up here. Probably not. I think he is as high as he can go. Oh, I guess not. Sweet. This might be two firsts. Yes, it is. Awesome. Flower. Wait a sec. This isn't the cricket jam, I don't think. I'm gonna save that ghost for later because I might need him. Let's see what's down here. Hey, it is a crick. This is a dead end, so it's best to turn back now. I'm pretty sure if you fight these guys right now, um, you get your shit pushed in. So, yeah. Well, no cricket jam, but I did get up here. Unless there's something I should know, Vidoy. Is there a way to get the cricket jam, or no? Ah. Apparently, I picked the wrong pipe. Okay, button time. Water has been drained, so you can either exit right here um, with this spring, which I'll just go ahead and do, just show you. And look at that. All the water has been drained, just as it said. That thing is Beloom. Oh, what am I doing? Uh, status. So Mallow might level up at the end of this fight. But, uh, yeah, there's a big door here. Now that's what I call a door. I wonder how you open it. Looks kind of like a big fat cat. This must be Bloom. Is that a fire hose or his tongue? Mohoho, ack. It's a snack attack. And you're it! Alright. Let's see what you get. One twenty seven. See how much you got left. I just want to sleep. Ooh, room service has been kind to me. Where's my bib? And your tongue slaps you. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Oh well. Stick for a body, head full of straw, give me a scarecrow. Rah, rah, rah. Scrow funk. And I could turn into a skeleton. Or scarecrow. Skeleton. That would be kinda cool. Alright, let's see if I can go for 
18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Ooh, that was crap. Um, like I mentioned earlier, when they're in uh, Scarecrow form, you can only defend. Um, you can't attack, as you can see, and you can't use items. So you can attack, or you can do a special attack or a defense. I'm gonna do super jump, why not? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm just getting worse and worse. That was scary! If you defeat me, you still won't beat me. Beware the flood. That was a little ominous. Oh, I think one XP away from uh, leveling up Mallow. Balloon must have been lying when he said water would come gushing out of there. Uh, Mario, do you hear something? Or is it just me? Water! Here it comes! Quick, Mario, hit the button before we're washed away. And we get flushed out into the waterfall. So, does that mean this sewer empties into a waterfall? If so, that's pretty gross. Alright, this is the Midas River course. Want a crash course on it? Yes. I think I was calling it Midas Falls the whole time. Just goes to show you how uh, long it's been since I've played, apparently. Yes, we'll take a crash course. You'll start off. Uh, you'll start off first at the falls. Use a control pad to move left to right and score coins. It's a little mini game. That's what I like about one of the many things I like about this game are the little mini games they throw at you every now and then. Press B to make a little headway against the flow. Along the way, there are a few traps. As to what will happen, we'll just keep that a surprise. Now off we go. I try to get as many coins here as I can, which I believe is the point. It is called Midas Falls. Uh, Midas being the guy who turned everything to gold. So. Or Midas River. See? There I go again. Remember that from the intro? Pretty cool. So nothing happened there. Uh, sometimes you can get extra coins. Uh, you can get flowers. Uh, you may be able to get frog coins in the trap things, but I don't know for sure. See, there's a flower. And it's cool because you can watch all the monsters like fight over it. There we go. Got a flower. And I had no way of uh, interacting with that. It was, uh, was kind of like a little cutscene, really. Where's my shekels? Seriously, where did all the coins go? Hey, got another flower. Pretty cool. The guy got double teamed. Oh well. Part 2. Now for the barrel jumping event. Need some pointers? Sure, why not. Time your jumps and grab coins along the way. Jump onto the next barrel before they collide. Miss it, and you'll change course. Well, it looks like you're ready, so I'll send you on your way. Almost forgot to tell you, leap over the fish to pop up or you'll lose coins. Yes, you will, and that is annoying. This one, uh, this little mini game here is all about timing, pretty much. You can also uh, manipulate which way or which track you're on. Uh, by letting it crash, 
Um, or not. Or missing it like that. Um, yeah. Not doing too hot. And I picked the wrong way that time. Wasn't that fun? You got 55 coins. Trade the coins you got for uh, Midas Reveler for frog coins. As a first time bonus, I'll give you one frog coin for 60 of your coins. Which I didn't get. If you didn't know, frog coins are the green ones and tadpole ponds got more info on them. You got 55, but that's not enough to cash in, so I'll hold them for you. Okay. Here's something I picked up. Knock Knock Shell. Hey, that would be the second weapon. Um, I'll do it later. Maybe. Uh, but yeah, Knock Knock Shell, second weapon for Mario, so let's go and equip that. Right now we're at 54, with the Knock Knock Shell we'll go to 64. Awesome. You got new sheets, Vidoy? I assume you mean like for your bed or something? That's pretty cool. Nobody here. This is Tadpole Pond. This is also in the uh, little intro there. No frogs here. Twardowski, uh, You want a music lesson from moi? Yes. Let's start by reading notes. See the five lines? Between, yeah, between the second and third lines from the top lies do. Keep going up and the notes are do re mi. Go down and you'll get go uh, do ti la sofa. Oh. Uh, let me fix the chat thing. Uh, da, 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 da. It's scrolled up, so I guess I should scroll down. If I can. Oh. Wait a minute. Let me see. Thanks for pointing that out, man. Sorry about that. Actually, let's move that up a little bit. And then... Uh, da, 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 da. Crop your chat from the top and stream program. Yeah, I did that. Um, let's see. Blah. Give me just a minute. I'm retarded. Again, I'm new to this. Oh. I think that is good. Um.
And we'll go ahead and do that. There's that. I got that. And da 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 da. That should be good. Okay. We're going to go with that. Uh, let me know how it looks to you. Um, but that should be good. Okay. So yeah, we got a, a musical lesson from Todovsky, which is supposed to be like Tchaikovsky. Um... But he's a toad, so. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. There we go. All right, so there's a rock there. Uh, so why don't we stand on the rock? Man, what the? Apparently, the little sticker, the holographic sticker on the back of uh, my. Xbox 360 controller has decided to come off, so now it's all sticky in the back. Um, it's pretty interesting. But yeah, this controller is about maybe five or six years old, maybe seven. Uh, it wasn't working today, but I unplugged everything, turned the computer off, turned it back on, um, reinstalled some drivers, or actually updated some drivers, and now it works. So there we go. Hi, can I help you? Mallow, it's you. We've heard all about yeah, we've heard all about your adventures with Super Mario. You guys beat up Balloon, right? You know about that? See Mario, the waterways of the world bring news to us here. That's why grandpa knows all the news it's fit to hear. Are you really the Super Mario? Hey everybody, you'll never guess who's here. He's a real thing, but he doesn't look anything like I thought he would. They do say he can jump better than a froggy. I wonder if it's only a rumor. Stand back and be amazed. Well, Grasshopper, what's new? Grandpa, Mario's been helping me. I know, child. That rainstorm we just had, that was you, wasn't it? Ouch. Watch it up there. You're supposed to make me look like I'm floating here, okay? So there's Frog Fuchsius. Um, he's on a fishing line from a Licky 2. Welcome! So you're Mario, yes? I am Frog Fuchsius. You have come to seek wisdom from me, have you not? I have been waiting for you. Yes, old wise people can often give good advice. But how rude of me. Let's get more comfortable. Come along and we'll talk. Clear. Four of us. I don't know what kind of thing I'm doing there. A voice. Uh, German, Japanese hybrid kind of thing. I don't know. Tattles, don't just float there. Make yourselves useful. Warm up bridge for Mario. And they do. And you can jump across uh, the tadpoles. You can... You can't jump into the water. Uh, you can only jump on them. So, yes, come into my sanctuary and partake of my wisdom, children. Let's see. That smithy character that appears at Bowser's Keep. He is quite formidable, yes? And Mario, you wish to rescue the princess quickly, do you not? But oh, if you only knew the truth. Toadstool is no longer there! Plot point. Patience, young one. Let me explain. Here's what happened. You were rescuing Toadstool from Bowser's Keep. After defeating him, and just when you were about to free the princess, you heard a loud crash and saw a huge sword split in the sky. Whoosh! Out of the blue! The shark sent the three of you flying. Bowser and Toadstool are still lost somewhere out there. Now. 
You're worried about the princess, but first, you need to take care of Smithy. His underlings are wreaking havoc in our world. Mac, whom you defeated at Mushroom Kingdom, was one of them. More will be coming. Grandpa, I almost forgot to tell you something. We found a star in the castle in Mushroom Kingdom. Do you know why it was there? A star, eh? Most interesting. This may sound illogical, but I believe shooting stars can grant wishes. And now, more than ever, I believe they will play a vital role in this fight against Smithy. Is that too much to absorb? Would you like a recap? No. It's quite a situation we have on our hands, isn't it? Wow, everything sounds so dire and serious. I guess Mac is only the first of many, Mario. Some of them will make Bowser seem nice. Mallow, you speak as if these things do not concern you. You will accompany Mario on his adventure, too. <laughs> Grandpa, what are you talking about? I'm only a simple tadpole. This adventure isn't for me. Mallow, my boy, I've kept this from you until now, but you're... Not a tadpole! Dun dun. I think that was kind of a joke, because you can tell he's obviously not a tadpole. Um, and so it plays it up like, oh my god, what a shocker! Who would have thought? I was sitting here one rainy day, enjoying a snack of crickets, when I happened to see a basket floating down from the falls. I peeked inside and saw a little baby staring right back at me. The name Mallow was written on his belt. I felt sorry for the little bundle of puff and took him in to raise him as my own child. Grandchild, rather. He had powerful magic, and I knew he was more than a piece of fluff. I thought, surely this child must be from, from far, far off land. Grandpa, you mean I'm not a tadpole? Mallow, now's not the time to cry. Go with Mario on his adventure and find your real family. Your real mother and father are out there somewhere. Psst, Mario. The boy's magic is sure to come in handy on your adventure. You'll take him along, yes? Grandpa, I won't cry anymore. I'll go on this adventure with Mario and find my real family. Then it is settled. You must embark on your venture immediately. First, go to Rose Town, where they need your help. You can talk to him, and if you remember that um, cricket jam we got earlier, or cricket pie, one of the two, we got something. Sniff, it would be quiet around here with Mallow gone. Maybe a snack will cheer me up. Well, if you're told your whole life you're a frog, you might in the end think so. That's true. That's right, I had forgotten all about it. I will give you something for the cricket pie you brought back. Ah, I know. You shall have the staff I used when I was Mallow's age. This is why you want to talk to everybody, especially the shopkeep. Um, and then, of course, Frog Fuchsius, after you get the uh, cricket pie. The one that we were supposed to get that I was trying to get earlier with the glitch, that was a cricket jam. Uh, but I will get that later. So, the froggy stick will come in handy. Do not forget to equip it. Go to Rose Town now, Mallow. Luck be with you. So la mi re do re do re. I'm gonna put that in chat so I don't forget. So la mi re do re do re. Although, to be honest, I've never forgotten that, because I've played this game so many times, so... I'm pretty sure the next one is Mi Do So Do Re La Ti Do. I've got this dream of becoming a composer. I want to be as famous as Todovsky. My favorite song? It's for Fuchsia's Suite number 18. So La Mi Re Do Re Do Re. Todovsky Swan number 2. I think so. Uh, me? No, no, this is totally wrong. Ah, didn't jump. Ah, 
That was... I just completely... I don't even know what I'm doing. Yeah, that was bad. Okay. Nope. I'm gonna have to listen to him again because I forget which one it was. Yeah, same here with musical skills. I, I can't. I just can't. <laughs> okay, so Do is the one, two, three, the third one. Okay. And so is from the bottom. Second from the bottom. Four, five, one, two, three. Two, three, two. Uh, let's see. So, so that's the fourth from the bottom. There's no, there's no five. One, two, three. The first one would be three. So, three... Five. One. Let's see. Three, five, one. Um, Ray would be two. So two. Doe would be three. I'm an idiot. Okay. Three. Three, two? You might be right. Although four, so... Picnic? Yeah, that one sounds right. Uh, there we go. Oh, it didn't jump. I'm pretty sure that's it. Yeah. Awesome. That's it. This is the melody I've been looking for. Thank you for the inspiration. Please, take this as a token of my gratitude. If I ever need help with my compositions again, I'll look for you here. Until then, adieu! Let's save, since we got that. Can't wait to graduate from music school and start composing. Welcome to the Juice Bar. Are you a card member? Even Todovsky has a membership here. Ah, an also card holder. What would you like? Froggy drink and elixir. Uh, oh, can't buy anymore. Let's sell... Ah, uh, they sell for 75, actually. Uh, not 25. So, yeah. And, uh, wow, almost maxed um, coins already. That's pretty good.
just buy one of each. Why not? Welcome to the Frog Coin Emporium. You're a first timer, aren't you? Listen up. The green coins you find periodically are frog coins. Accumulate them, and you can buy items at Tadpole Pond. Yeah, but I'm not gonna waste uh, frog coins on that. In fact, I have three frog coins, so yeah. I'm gonna save them. Rosely. Sign. You can't jump on or off when the block is blue. Try jumping when the block turns yellow. Okay. I think each block has a few different routes um, they can take. I'm gonna not get that mushroom right now. I'll get that later. I don't. I think this one only has one. Yeah. I'm fine with fighting, because uh, like I always say, I want to get that XP. Ah, I forgot to equip, equip the froggy stick. Even though Frogcusha said, do not forget to equip it. Hey, Vid, uh, Vidoy, do you mind me asking what part of the world are you from? Wow, six HP right there. I'm gonna go for that. There's a flower. I'm gonna stay on this one so I can fight that other star. Oh. Ah, I still forgot to equip it. I'm an idiot. I like this. It would probably hurt getting slapped by a flower. A giant flower like that. No way. Pretty cool, man. There's actually a game uh, that I'll probably livestream uh, sometime down the road. Uh, that stars a, um, well, it doesn't star, but he's one of the main characters you can choose. Uh, his name is Ernst von Buller, and I believe he's from Norway. Um, I could be wrong, though. He might be Dutch. But, uh, I am in the United States of America. Merk! Finally equipped a froggy stick, um, so I can do some do some damage. Oh, I think it was your video that I watched, uh, Vid, where you were playing some um, modded version of Mario 64, and you were singing the Mario RPG song. Super Mario RPG, it is the only one just for me. When I play the game, I get lost in the phase. Then I found out I'm stuck in Gino's maze. That one. Yeah, I think you're right. I'm pretty sure it is Dutch. Um, yeah, that, that was a little bit of tricky platforming right there. Yeah, uh, Vidoy, I do make a habit of uh, checking out uh, the followers just to see what kind of stuff they're doing um, which you also have me as a follower now so yeah um, but yeah I just like to see what other what other people do so that's kind of an interesting ROM hack um, 
I, I've never played a ROM hack of Mario RPG or of Mario 64. Uh, so, that was interesting. Why can I not get that? Oh my god. One more time. There we go. This one... Uh, no, not this one. One of the next ones. You can actually do it without getting attacked. These guys are crooks. Hey, that's actually what they're called. Crooks. Oh. And they like to run away. Super Mario 64 Star Road. One of the most famous ones. I might have to play that. Probably after I get my new computer, because um, this old bucket has a... It is a quad-core processor, but um, it's only at 2.6 gigahertz, which is kind of slow. Um, and I only have 4 gigs of RAM. And I have, a, my graphics card is like 8 years old, it's the 8800 GTX, uh, NVIDIA. So yeah. But the new computer will have very, very good specs. Um, I'm probably gonna go 32, I know people are gonna laugh, but I'm probably gonna do 32 gigs of RAM. Um, GTX... 970 maybe or 980 it depends um, we'll just see what happens there it's not bad but it's certainly not uh, a great computer for streaming especially any like newer games um, or anything that's not 2D. <laughs> I'm gonna come back to that. Attack me! Aww. Uh, no, the computer's not done yet. I'm building it a little bit at a time. Uh, I'm buying parts uh, like piecemeal, one at a time. So right now I've got the case, which is an awesome case. Um, you might look up the CM or Cooler Master Storm Striker. Uh, it's a big white thing. It's pretty cool looking. Oh, it's got tons of room. Oh, hey, that's that mushroom I came back to earlier. Okay. See a little bit more platforming. Awesome. This one you can actually jump under the stuff and get, um, you should buy some more RAM and a used graphics card for this one. Oh yeah, I agree. Um, yeah, that would be nice. Money is a little bit tight right now, so, um, that's why I'm buying one piece at a time for the new computer, but yes, I will do that eventually. Um, Probably just going to go with something cheap like a 750 Ti or a 760 Ti. I heard those are pretty good cards. And you can get them for like anywhere from 100 to like 150 American dollars. So it's not too bad. Yeah, I was trying to show you that uh, you can actually avoid those, but I failed. Hey, it's C-Mac. Welcome back. Thanks for uh, joining. Glad to see you. Did you have a good dinner? Uh, Vidoy, as far as the operating system goes, um, I actually don't think I need to do that very much. I have done it a lot in the past, uh, simply because when I built my computer, I used uh, I was on Windows XP, 
uh, up until actually a few months ago. Um, a few months ago I actually bought a new copy of uh, 7. So now I'm on 7, I doubt it needs to be re reinstalled so early. But as far as vacuuming the computer, that's probably a good idea. Um, get all that dust and dirt out of there. I recently bought some canned air, uh, compressed air, um, to help with that too. But, I mean, these parts are like seven to eight years old already. Um, so yeah. If I come into a bit of money, I might buy a new cooler for my computer. That'll definitely help the, uh, or for the CPU, I should say. That would definitely help out with the uh, temps and running better and all that good stuff. You had a pretty good dinner of 12 bagel bites. Awesome. I haven't had bagel bites in a long time. Also, uh, I don't. I'm pretty sure that the rest of the world, uh, like Norway, pretty sure they don't have Black Friday. I could be wrong. Uh, it's it's called Black Friday here because it's the day after Thanksgiving. Um, Thanksgiving is always on a Thursday. Black Friday. Um, I think they called it that because they. Uh, it's the day that most companies actually see black, which means they actually get a big profit um, instead of being in the red for the whole year but yeah um, anyway Black Friday I went to Best Buy got a new mouse uh, Logitech G502 Proteus Core I think it's called um, it was 80 bucks but it came with a $50 Steam card so that's pretty cool got a lot of new games without spending too much it's kinda like getting a mouse for 30 and it's a really good mouse. And I needed a mouse because uh, I've had the same mouse since I built my computer, which is a Logitech MX Revolution. Um, it's wireless and um, we do a lot of, we have like all these game systems, phones, computer, uh, when there's heavy network usage, um, it actually makes the mouse lag and not do what it's supposed to do. So that's why we got a wired mouse. You'd really recommend buying RAM and a GPU for the one for this one next. You can easily stream with a 760 Ti and you can get a decent price for it when the other one's done. Yeah, um, that's actually the plan. Uh, the plan is to build the new computer. Uh, it's hopefully going to get finished this coming February or March. Um, because here in America, that's when we, that's our tax season, and, um, basically we get money back from the IRS slash government, um, for our taxes that we paid for the year, so, I'm anticipating getting over a thousand dollars back, um, since I already have the CPU, or I'm sorry, since I already have the case and the solid state drive for my new computer, I think $1,000 can cover the processor, RAM, graphics card, motherboard, power supply. I hope. <laughs> anyway, uh, so we just got done with Roseway for the most part, and we're going to check this out. It looks like Goombas. Goombas, turtles, uh, magic dudes. called Black Friday because the town's got black from smoke from all the people returning home. That's pretty crappy. Alright, people, form ranks. Attention, shelled warriors. Hooded sorcerers. And last but not least, groundling goombas. This is our finest moment. The Koopa Troop is invincible. We shall be victorious. The bridge is down, but we'll find a way back... Yeah, find a way to get back in. Move out, on the double. So we just encountered Bowser, so we know where he is. Um, Bowser and his troops must be on their way to Bowser's Keep. Come on, Rose Town is just up ahead. 
Awesome. There goes uh, Roseway. And we'll head to Rosetown next. That guy just got shot with an arrow. See, arrows come flying out from the forest, and when you're hit, it can't move. See, look, I can't move a muscle. Now I know a scarecrow. Now I know how a scarecrow feels. Since the day a shooting star fell into the forest, the town's uh, arrows have been showering our town. I I can't move. There's a stairway that leads to my house, but my son's been playing with the controls again. Mario, only you could jump up there. Please help me get back up to my house. Well, okay. If you insist. I don't know if there's any... What's taking Daddy so long? Do you think he's still looking for the treasure? I don't know if there's any, um... Benefit to getting these. Uh... Besides what's in them. Or if it's better to not get them? I'm not sure. Uh, do you know, Vidoi? Because I know you can get them... Oh, hey. Nice. Their hats are shaped like arrow targets. Oh, yeah, because they're, um... <laughs> they, uh, yeah, they have little circles. I never actually realized that. Good, good eye. Uh... Okay. No matter what you do, he doesn't care. So I'm going to do that. Oh, yeah, then i got to press the button. Thanks a million, Mario. Say, were my treasures okay? They sure were. I wouldn't say so. No, sorry, they weren't. You're kidding! What? They're gone? Mario, you're the only one who could reach them! I'm gonna be honest. Sorry I got carried away. Oh, well, since we didn't get hit by any arrows, I'll tell you a secret. Enter the forest. When you go, when you hit an area with four paths, go left, left, straight, right. In that order. You'll surely find something nice. And he just repeats it. Button? Yeah, I jumped on it. I do it all the time. It really winds my dad up. Huh. That would be an interesting form of um, home security, I guess. Oh, this is not good! Now I can't go to the forest to chop any wood. Sorry. My husband still hasn't come back. I wonder what's keeping him. He's probably frozen by an arrow to his face. I want to go someplace fun. Standing around here is so boring. Um, if you notice, you can actually jump up here and here, and then you can jump up here. And it looks an awful lot like a pipe. And you can use it as such. So yeah, free flower. This is the item shop. Mario, good to have a customer at last. What do you need? I need nothing. Hello, Mario. It's so nice of you to drop by the shop. What can I do for you? You can give me some armor? A little on the edge. No, that's fine. You can say whatever you want. Uh, I do try to keep it kind of, like, respectable, but that's a joke, and that's totally fine. So, you're all good, man. Don't worry about it. Actually, I'll sell the armor now. Um, the old armor. Shirt and pants. Jump shoes. So what you got into... So what got you into streaming? Um, I have seen Twitch 
I've seen people Twitch uh, stream games on Twitch for a while. That is pretty interesting. Um, but I never really not. Um, what am I trying to say here? Okay, I've never really had a chance to stream because I tried X Split a long time ago, and that was really crappy, and it made my computer lag. Um, but I think recently. I found uh, the open broadcasting system, uh, open broadcaster software is what it's called, or OBS for short. Um, and I read about that, and that's. I was like, hey, might as well do that. Plus, I'm getting a new computer. Um, let me go back to the to the question at hand. What got you into streaming 27? Um, I've never played a Zelda game before, since I am building a new computer. Um, and it's a new year, I decided to go ahead and play all the Zelda games since I've never played a single one before. Uh, and I'm going to be streaming that. So, or I figured I might as well stream it since I've never played them. Um, I might be able to get an audience because uh, I know Zelda is extremely um, popular. So I was like, eh, I could do that. So, to answer your question, the fact that I've never played a Zelda game, and the fact that um, open broadcast, excuse me, open broadcaster software is easy to use, um, I'll, and I've never played Zelda, and I'm getting a new computer, all that stuff makes it to where I think it would be a good time to start streaming. Hope that answers your question. I tell you, it's scary out here, but someone's got to pump the water. How very true. We're told not to go outside because it's too dangerous. Grandpa's pumping water, some water for us. I wish we could help too. I'm worried about my grandson. He went out to play, but didn't come back when he should have. Kinda don't get it anyway. I don't know what you mean by that. So I haven't checked out the inn, so here we go. Mario, help! Mwahaha, <laughs> hey Mario, I'll be taking care of Princess Toadstool now. Boing boing. Super jump attack. So apparently this kid is uh, playing with his Mario dolls. Go ahead. Do you think you can hurt me with your childish pranks? Attention Toadstool. You're coming with me. Zippy lip. Help. Help. Somebody please help me. Ha. Oh my gosh. It's ma, ma, mom, mom. Look, we have a guest. Yes, dear. I hear you. Hello there. Why aren't you, Mario? All right, C Mac. Have a fantastic shower. For real? Well, you have the hat and the funky stash. Are you really Mario? You betcha. Or wrong number. I'm gonna go you betcha, because I am. Or he is. How do you know it's how do I know it's you? You might just be pulling my leg. Show me! Prove it! Alright! Hey Mario, wanna play with me? I'm playing Save the World. Now Gaz. Mario might be a little tired, dear. Aw, come on, Mom. You never play with me. It's no fun playing alone. Oh dear. Mario, I hate to ask. But, could you play with Gaz for a little while? Soon. I can't type. Um, yeah, why not? Yes! Mario just bought the farm, so you can be Bowser. I'll be Gino, okay? Ready? Let's play from where I left off. Ooh, scary, but just watch me! Better watch out, Bowser, because Gina's going to blow you away. Take this! Your turn, Bowser. Ow. Oh no, if he keeps this up, I'm finished. Alright, you asked for it. The super duper, custom, patented, one and only, shooting star shot! Oops, I, uh, I think I missed. Oh dear, oh my, Mario, are you alright? So yeah, Mario just got knocked out. So 
So here's a little cutscene. As you can tell, it's a little star, and he starts hopping around from doll to doll. Kind of like an eeny meeny miny mo type thing. Apparently the star picks the doll Gino and possesses him. So Gino is a possessed doll. Uh, believe it or not, I actually, I don't know, Vidoy, do you know anything about perler beads? Um, the reason I ask is I actually made a perler bead thing of Gino, because he's my favorite character from my favorite game. Um, yeah, one of these days when I get a cam, I'll, I'll show you. So anyway, the doll uh, just got possessed. Um, he walked out of the door after clumsily walking into the staircase, so yeah. Mom, you'll never believe what I just saw. It was amazing, Mom. I just saw Gino walk into the forest. Neat, huh? Yes, dear. That's nice. Er, yes, dear. That's nice, dear. And isn't Gino the one who broke my lamp the other day? Aw, Ma, that was just, well, you know, now this was real. I swear, Mom, really, it's true. I saw him outside. All right, guys, let's hear it. What are you trying to get out of this time, hmm? Mom, I didn't do anything. I really, truly saw Gina walking into the forest. Sorry if I hurt you, but would what would Gina want in the forest? Oh, this boy is impossible. Uh, perler beads are like these little plastic beads. Um, they're little round things and they have holes in them. Um, you place them on a pegboard and um, you can make a design out of them. Um, all these different colors and everything. And then you put a piece of like uh, wax, not wax paper, but like uh, parchment paper over them. And then you iron them. Uh, and they'll melt together or fuse together as they call it and uh, once it cools it'll solidify and it makes like a 2D um, picture or you know solid figure out of the beads. Uh, I've made quite a few um, but I was just throwing it out there that I made a Gino um, prairie bead type thing. So yeah, Gino, uh, just to recap there, uh, beat Rose away, went to Rose Town, Gino, which is the kid's doll, um, knocked Mario out, Mario had uh, to rest for a little bit because he was knocked out, then when he woke up, he found that uh, Gino went into the forest, so we're going to go into the forest too, to follow Gino. And this is where the famous song... Or I assume is famous. Uh, the Super Mario RPG song comes from. But the song is, uh. Like, Beware the Forest Mushrooms is what the song is called in the game. Do, do, do. Oh, I was trying to jump. I think this is my favorite. Well, not this one right now, but uh, the one in the forest, uh, Beware the Forest Mushrooms, that is my favorite song in the game. And it's very much uh, associated with Super Mario RPG. It's pretty popular. Lucky! Pretty loud. Pop. All right, here we go. Let's see. Middle. Nope. All right. 
Okay, if you jump on these... Uh, if you jump on top of them, you don't have to fight them. Uh, instead, you can actually get coins from them. And if you can stay bouncing on them for quite a while, uh, you actually can get a frog coin. I'm going to try that here in a minute and see how that goes. It's not very easy uh, to keep bouncing on them. Okay. I'm going to go with magic attack this time since it's 3 and 1 uh, compared to 3 and 1 and 1. So. Alright, let's try that uh, again. Aw. Oh. Okay. Five. Three. Bleh. I'll try one more time after this. Just to see if I can get a frog coin. Uh, yeah, so these guys, Wigglers, they're from Super Mario World, uh, on the Super Nintendo. Um... They get mad whenever you jump on them in Super Mario World. Uh, in this, they just speed up. This is the song I dislike the most. Are you talking about the one in the background here? Arg! Okay. Well, at least I'm getting XP out of this. I'm pretty sure I'm at max coins already, so... I'll do it! I want to say it's this one. Alright. Good thing I didn't go for the middle one. Yeah, you can actually go down the stumps, uh, like they're pipes. Uh, some of these items are mushrooms. Which I don't need. And some of them turn into mushroom monsters, which you can fight. And that audio sounds a little messed up. Might be because I was forced into a forest quite similar as a kid with my school. Huh. I assume this is like a field trip or something? Yeah, that hurt. So this is a gorilla. Much later in the game, uh, there's one of these that is throwing barrels at you. Um, so it's very much like Donkey Kong. From the original Donkey Kong. Well, from any of them, really. Donkey Kong uh, throws barrels all the time. So, yeah. Let's see what... Okay, that's fine. So, there's three of them. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, keep getting attacked, apparently. But... Well, nah. I was gonna go ahead and use the Thunderbolt, but... If you haven't noticed, I don't like wasting uh, flower points. Plus, I was able to get them all three right there, so... No big deal. Hey, Vidoy, uh, just curious, in the video, is the chat, um, is anything cut off, or does it look just fine? Well, they turned, uh, Mallow into a mushroom, which means you can't do anything. 
Uh, you don't even get to defend yourself. You're just stuck as a mushroom. Um, but you do heal every turn that you are a mushroom, so... Yeah. Kinda sucks. But it's not the end of the world. But yeah, the, a mushroom turns you into a mushroom, which is pretty interesting. Man, they're just picking on Mallow. Okay, I think now I'll use the Thunderbolt. And I missed the freaking timing. Weekly field trips into the forest? That sounds cool, man. The video, where are you seeing? Yeah, what about it? Ah, okay, it's just a highlight. Um, yeah, I did watch a little bit of it, but you did make a highlight of that, so I was like, let's see what this is all about. I know there's a treasure chest here. There it is. I th thought there was one here too, but I guess not. Sometimes it's best to go after the monsters uh, that aren't necessarily the strongest first, um, but the ones you know you can beat. Because if you don't, they'll poison you or they'll damage you or something else. That's what I did there. Nice! Got a frog coin! And Mallow gets to level up. Sweet. That's kind of tough. Uh, we're going to go with HP because his magic attacks really aren't that great to begin with, so no point. I just want to check the status to see if it's worth fighting these guys, and it doesn't look like it is, so um, I'm not going to waste my time with them. I know in some of these there are like hidden treasure chests, uh, invisible ones. Mm, I don't know which one though. Yeah, uh,. Vidoy, do you know anything about um, U.S. or the United States geography or states or anything like that? I always thought those guys were pretty weird. Um, the ones that I just killed. They're like floating squid things that are, well, they're using little turtle shells with bat wings to fly. Pretty odd. The chest right over the sleeping wiggler. Huh.
I feel like there's one in here. I knew it! You missed! What? Oh... I think you're supposed to, um... As soon as you hear the sound... Click it or something? I don't know. I know they're drawn with a ruler. There's 52 states. I don't know what you mean by that, drawn with a ruler. Uh, there are some states that are kind of in a straight line with each other. Um, but I, I, other than that, I have no idea what you mean, straight rule, uh, like with a ruler. But um, no, there's 50 states. Um, 48 on the main continent, and then there's, well, there's Hawaii, which is an island in the Pacific Ocean, and then there's Alaska, which is actually right outside of Canada, so that's a little different. Um, but no, there's 50 states, but the reason I was asking uh, if you knew about them because uh, I'm originally from Texas, and that place is extremely hot. Um, it gets up to like 117 degrees in the summer, and that is way too hot. Um, so I moved to Washington, Washington State, which is the furthest uh, northwest that you can get without um, leaving the country. So if I were to go any more north, I would get to Canada, eh? Um, but there are, it's very cold here most of the time, and let's see what you're talking about. North, here it is. Awesome. Um, it's pretty cold and wet here all the time. Jeez. And there's lots of trees. In fact, there's forests and rainforests and all that stuff. So I can imagine what you're talking about. So anyway, uh, I just went down here, there was a sleeping wiggler, jumped on top of him, and he shot me through the uh, ground, and then he opened up a passage, I guess, so... However, this sleeping wiggler doesn't do anything like that, so... You can jump all over him, and he doesn't care. Surprised nobody ran away. Usually the rats will scatter. Nope. Hey, I got the timing right. Also, it doesn't hurt to um, grind a little bit if you can help it, because um, you can get some XP. There is a boss coming up, so yeah. Fifty-seven and one hundred one. It's not too bad. Once again, I always like those. Those are good.
<laughs> You'd easily trade your freezing forest trips for beaches over here. Yeah, um... I can see where you're coming from. As they always say, the grass is always greener. So... And here in Washington State, um, since it is on the west coast, um, there's the Pacific Ocean to the west, uh, the beaches that are on the west side of the state um, are actually very cold most of the time. Um, I imagine the ones inland, uh, like around lakes and stuff, are warm during the summer. But uh, the ones that are on the actual beach coast... Uh, you know, by the ocean. They're pretty cold. I'm gonna go ahead and use a mushroom on Mallow, so I can go ahead and pick up another one. I think if you kill all the enemies, the bee will fly away all the time, which just happened, so... One of these days, um, either before I build my new computer or after, one of the two, well... Obviously, it'll be one or the other, but I'll try to stream it on this current computer, um, Paper Mario for the N64, because I have played that, but I've never actually finished it. Um, so yeah, that'll be cool to do eventually, if, um, if you want to watch that. Okay, I think there's another treasure chest over here, but it might be... Over here. There it is. Red Essence. That's like one of the best items in the game. You won't be attacked for three turns during battle. Uh, that means you're invulnerable. You are awesome, pretty much. And you, you won't take any damage. It's pretty cool. Uh, sometimes you can get lucky and get a freebie when you use it. And you get more turns of invulnerability. Okay, so he said... When you get to a path with, uh, or an area with four paths, go left, left, straight, right. That is in relation to Mario from his point of view. So we're going to go left. From his point of view, this is the left. Straight. And after a battle, we'll go right. Yeah, Paper Mario is pretty awesome. I just never finished it. That would be right, and that would be a tunnel. I don't know if there's any treasure chests over here. At least on the outside. But I know there are some in here. I don't really need coins. Pretty sure there's another one in here too, like a hidden one. I could be wrong.
Alright, so now we gotta find Gino. That's what the point of this is. Hey, an empty spot. The forest is very simple. All you do is follow these patterns. Okay, what the heck is Gina? There he is. Then I found out I'm stuck in Gina's maze. Exit in the forest is very simple. I fucked that up. Okay. I think he goes down. Yes. There he is. Awesome. 997! 998! 999! 1000! Yeah, ha, ha 1000 arrows! For cover they run! Yeah! Fun this is, yes! Yeah! Another 1000 will I shoot? Mario, who is that guy? He must be the one shooting arrows at Rose Town. Happy I am, yeah. Look, look at their expressions when freeze they do. Woohoo! They're standing like statues. Yeah, more practice do I need. Oh no, he's not stopping. We've got to do something. Who do you think you are, Bruce Lee? You can't just go in there with your fist flying. There are too many of them. We'll be creamed. Oh no, someone's coming. Let's hide and see if we can learn anything. Look what I found, Boya. What? What? Disturb me, you must not. Practicing I am. More arrows must I shoot. More statues must I make. Nyah! Stop. Hold it right there. You don't know what you're doing. Return that star to me. Yeah, yeah. A stranger you are, and a strange looking one at that. Teach you we must who's in charge. Yeah? And who might you be? I serve a higher authority. That star piece belongs to everyone. You can't keep it. Yeah, yeah. Angry I am. Yeah. A lesson will I teach you. So yeah, this is the second uh, star piece, and the second main boss of the game. Hey, chill out! Mario, it's dangerous out there. You're gonna help, huh? Whack that weirdo, save the guy in blue. Me too! I will do what I can, but from over here. I'm not afraid, and I'm not going to cry. Youch! Stop it! That's enough. Ginya, nya! Strong you are, but stronger am I. Hurt you I will. So long, nya! Part now, we must. Nya, nya, nya. Thanks for the help, but who are you? Why 
Mario, you just ditched me back there. Huh? Don't I know you? You look familiar. So, you're THE Mario. We know about you. Knock knock. Yeah, insulted I am. Awesome, so this is Gino. Swing. I know there is a way to um, do better with that attack. And to, um, like, make him jump up and he, like, does more damage or something. I just don't know how to do that. Um, let's see how many hit points he has. What's with these folks? Nyah! Not three against one. Not fair. Fix it, I will. Nyah! Shoot an arrow, I shall. When a target it hits, that button locked. Pretty interesting that they can break the fourth wall like that. Um, yeah. So if he locks, if he hits those any of those buttons, that function becomes locked. So like uh, if he hits Y, I can't do special attacks. If he hits X, I can't use items. Or if he hits A, I can't do normal attacks. All of which suck. Oh, that sucked. So I can't do specials. That's fine. I'm most likely going to save the red essence until the final battle. Um, because it really helps a lot. Can't do normal attacks. And he's gonna do static healing. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. See, I knew something like that would happen. Awesome. So Bowyer is dead. We've got Gino. Well, I think I just spoiled his name. Um, it doesn't actually say his name is Gino. Thanks for the help. You really got me out of a jam. Why are you staring at me? You know I'm more than just a doll, don't you? Uh-huh. Have you guessed the truth? I'm a visitor from above, and this is a form I'm borrowing briefly. You mean, like, from the sky or something? Higher than that, I'm afraid. Do you know anything about the Star Road? Completely in the dark, eh? Well, it's a big mess up there right now, and it concerns you too. Let me explain. You've heard of wishing upon a shooting star? At the Star Road, your wish is transformed into a star. When it's granted, it then turns into a shooting star and falls down to Earth. So you see, the Star Road plays an integral role in granting wishes. But ever since the sword destroyed the Star Road, everything has come to a halt. No stars have been made since. The way things stand, yours is a world where wishes can't come true anymore. 
Are you saying this star is part of your starway? That star road, my friend. My fluffy little friend. Yes, that star is a broken piece of the star road. I'm here to find them all and repair the star road. The broken star pieces. There are seven altogether. For peace to return, we must get rid of Smithy, find the star pieces, and repair the star road. I'm... Heart, note, exclamation, question mark. But it's hard to pronounce, so call me Gino, after the doll. I chose him because he looked the strongest out of all the dolls. Now grab the star, Mario. Hey, Flubberboo! Um, no, uh, not a ton. Uh, I started at the Caro sewers, and uh, I just now got the second star piece out of seven, so not at all. I mean, you missed some fighting and some story, but not too much. Welcome back, by the way. Thanks for joining. There's the second star piece. We've got the one, the first one from Mac in Mushroom Kingdom, second one from Bowyer just now in the forest. Come on, let's get this show on the road. Gino, who is searching for pieces for the pieces of the Star Road, joins Mario and Mallow. Things are definitely looking up. I started at 3.30, um, so I've been streaming for about two hours. Um, so yeah. Ooh, I heard everything. Who would have known that star was so important? I've got to inform Smithy. The secret to the shooting stars has been unraveled. Find the star pieces and bring back to Mario's and bring peace back to Mario's world. Awesome. So we got two out of seven stars. Um, you can't go down these. So let's go to Rose Town because that's where everyone was frozen. I can finally move. I guess I owe it all to Mario. What an amazing guy. Uh, so yeah, these guys, these uh, toads in Rosetown, that's where I am right now, Rosetown, um, they were getting shot from the forest. These arrows were coming out of the sky and shooting them, um, and when the arrows hit them, they froze in place like a statue. Um, but since I just beat the last, or this previous boss, um, there's no more arrows flying, and nobody's a statue anymore. Hi, Mario, sting for a nap? Sure, why not? I know I don't need it, but... That's why I wanted to do it. You guys see this? This person in bed here? Anyone know who that is besides Vidoy? I know you know who it is. Anyone else? Like Flubberboo? Do you have any idea who that might be? Zelda? Huh. Yeah, it's Link. How'd you know? I thought you said you never played this before. Or is it obvious? Oops. When you try to talk to him... You get a sound from Zelda. There's all the dolls. I think it would have been interesting if the star would have chosen anyone else. But, of course, that wouldn't work. Actually, I have not played A Link to the Past. I promise you that. Um, I The only Zelda game I have played is um, The Legend of Zelda, and I've only played it for a little bit over an hour. Actually, that's the only one I've streamed. The only one, the other one that I've played is Phantom Hourglass on the DS. I have played that for like two hours before, uh, but that is going to be one that I eventually do stream. Uh, most likely the only one I'm not going to be able to stream, well the only two, are Hydra Warriors, unless I get a capture card. Uh, same thing with the new Zelda that's coming out for Wii U. Um, unless I get a capture card, I won't be able to stream those. Um, so yeah, but no, I have not played A Link to the Past. I would like to. Things are finally back to normal. Thank you, Mario. 
And when I say I would like to, what I really mean is I'm going to. Um, but I'm going to play the Zelda games in order. Um, so, yeah. My grandson has come back in one piece. Thank you, Mario. There's nothing to worry about anymore. I can finally relax. Wow, that kid just went through the other one. There's nothing to worry about anymore. I can finally relax. And there's nothing to worry about. Okay, they all say the same thing. I'm so proud of my grandson. Just look at him. Yeah, which one? They're all clones of each other. Good. Now I can finally go to the forest to chop some wood. Things are finally back to normal. Thank you, Mario. Hi, Mario. Bet you're going to be pretty busy from here on. What can I get you? Nothing. Ah. I think I have enough stuff. Yeah. There we go. I thought I heard a big boom over from the mountains. Hmm. Guess I'm starting to hear things. I'm finally home! I can't believe we had arrows showering down around here. You found the treasure! Way to go! Keep up the good work. Button? Nah. Uh, yeah, we already did that. And you can just do it to mess around. Oh, it's obvious if you've played A Link to the Vest. Okay, I just reread that. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Let's see what this uh, guy behind here says. Trample the monster, smash the model, do you good. Trust me on this one. Yeah, you said that last time. So since we have 999 coins right now, which is the max you can carry, I'm going to go bother this guy. Oh, now look, I lost because of you. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, now look, I lost because of you. Wait, hold on. This is the highest score. Wait, wait. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, now look, I lost because of you. I thought you could, um... It must be later in the game. Huh, I guess it's later. Oh, I'm not gonna save here, what am I doing? Actually, let's go back and talk to the guy with the wallet. I think he may have something, but I'm not sure. Make room just in case. Nope, okay. Awesome, so yeah, that, um, so far, for those of you paying attention, um, we have done the first part, which was uh, the Mushroom Kingdom, and we got the star. Uh, then we went on to the second part, which was here in the, um, what do you call it? Caro Sewers, uh, Tadpole Pond, Rose Town, and the Forest Maze. Uh, from there we got the second star. Uh, before I go to the third part, I'm going to go ahead and go here to the Pipe Vault. Um, this one is a lot more platforming uh, and monster fighting, and even a mini game or two, um, plus new monsters, all that good stuff. But uh, I am going to actually pause the stream real quick. I will be right back, um, but yeah, enjoy the music from the game. I'll be right back.
All right, so I am back. Hope you guys are still here. Um, yeah, awesome. Back to the game. I'm gonna fight these fireballs. But yeah, now uh, Gino is officially part of the team, or the party. As you can tell, he shoots his arm, uh, like the doll does. Does a good amount of damage. I'm going to actually change the way this emulator works and make it to where it doesn't pause uh, whenever you're out of it. Awesome. Cool. So now I can actually switch over to chat real quick um, without it interrupting anything. So, awesome. Here we go. I think it's pretty interesting that you can fight a fireball. Like, uh, how does that work? In the other games, they kill you if you touch them, so... <sighs> Wire reaches level 9. We'll go with the uh, power, which is attack and defense. Um, do some more damage. Oh man. Yeah, if you fall in the lava on this, uh, which you can't fall off to the sides, you can only fall front and back. But it shoots you back to the beginning. Um, if you haven't noticed, this is a lot like the underground level from the original Super Mario, Super Mario Brothers. So pretty cool. And he even plays the same music. Just uh, kind of a remix of it. I'm gonna run away. Just to see... Oh, okay. Interesting. I thought it might let me stay on top of him and then jump. Like the ghost did. Alright. Onwards. Can you guys hear me just fine? Uh, just making sure. One hundred and forty-four damage to a Goomba. That's pretty good. There's a Thwomp there. Um, If you are standing on the steps when the thwomp lands, uh, it'll make you roll back. And if you look at it, this is very much like the original Mario Brothers, uh, Super Mario Brothers, because it's just a, it's pretty much a, a two-dimensional level. I mean, you get the. Uh, forwards and backwards, but you don't get, um, you know, length or width or anything. Uh, yeah, Flubber, um, I think you're right. I do kind of go for the attack, uh, because usually... I don't use a lot of special attacks, um, 
And to be honest, I haven't really been taking a lot of damage, so... Plus, whenever you do go for the attack defense, it makes you take less damage. Um, so yeah. Oh. Prana Plant. You can fight them. In this game, the Piranha Plants are actually pretty good magic users. Like, they can turn you into mushrooms and cast all kinds of fire spells and all that fun stuff. This is an homage to the 2D games because when you run and duck, uh, you can actually slide under it and get a frog coin. That's like the only time you can duck in the game. And there's quite a few uh, hidden treasure chests too. Yeah, that was kind of cool. Now let me stand on him for a second. See? Turned me into a scarecrow. <laughs> Sorry about that. Ouch! 18 and 1 attack, that's... It's not joking around. I wonder where uh, C-Mac is. She said she'd be back, but she's not back. Those guys, um, they look like camouflage shy guys. I know there is a way to fight them. Uh, basically, you have to have a really high level Geno, because he has like one of the highest speeds in the game, if not the highest. And then you also have to give him a speed boosting accessory, and then uh, that way you can actually fight them before they leave. So you said you haven't played any of the games, partly because you're not a fan of the anime style art direction, but I'd like to see you play one of those games just to see how this game stacks up in terms of gameplay. Oh, the Final Fantasy games. Okay. Um, yeah, I've got no problem with that. I could certainly do that. I do want to try to finish uh, Mario RPG, if that's okay with everybody, um, simply because it's my favorite game, um, and I want to kind of do something that I'm, I know I'm good at uh, before I get into other stuff. Like I did start Zelda first, like the original Zelda. Um, that sucked. I started the original Zelda, and I played for almost two hours. And it's pretty interesting. I got through the first temple and or love legend or what am I trying to say? Dungeon. Um, and then I found the second one. I haven't started on the second one yet. Um, but yeah, Mario RPG is probably going to be the first one to finish. Then I'll probably work on the Legend of Zelda. Then. Um, after that, I don't really have anything planned, so suggestions are always welcome. Nice! LOL, I actually came to your channel just because my friend wouldn't shut up about this game, and you happen to be playing it. Pretty cool, getting all of your insight. Nice, man. Thank you. I appreciate it, and, and uh, thanks for sticking with me. Um, hopefully you'll stick around to the end, if, if you want to, that is.
Yeah, these scarecrows are pretty... Or... These, uh, piranha plants are pretty nasty here. There's one later in the game that's a real bitch and does all kinds of crappy spills that really hurt you. Awesome, I needed that. Well, if it isn't obvious by looking at it, it should be. I'm gonna go with the max HP boost because it gives you six, whereas the only one, other ones only do one and one. So, yeah, HP. And then you can go uh, down that pipe, and here's another mini game. You can talk to this guy. Hey, mate, step right up. Ten coins to do some Goomba thumping. How about it? Sure, why not? You know the rules? Nope. Actually, I do, but uh, I just want to display them for you guys. Thump a Goomba. <laughs> Thump a Goomba, get one point. Thump Spiky and lose one point. Thump a gold Goomba, get three points. If you get more than 20 points, you'll get a prize. Want to recap? No thanks. It's easier if you stand in the middle. Okay, hit as many as you can. Ready? Go! So you jump, and then you want to jump back to the middle. This kind of does require precision, and it can be very frustrating if you miss. Especially the gold ones, because they only appear for like a second. But if you can get them, that's good. Ah! Ah! Oh, did I? I'm an idiot. Okay. It's easy to over to uh, miss jump or jump over them. Twenty-two points. So I got over twenty. What do I get? That was some. That was some dumpling. Here's your prize. Next time, try and get 24 points. Alright, I got a fire tab. I'll go ahead and use that right now. 38 flowers. Nice. Or flower points. Yeah, I'll do it again. Why not? If I can get 24, I'll get something else. So, Which I got 22 last time. Maybe I'll do a little bit better. Yeah. Also, if you know they've been out for a second um, or so, it's not always worth jumping for them. Like the gold one, he was out too long already. Ooh, almost jumped on that guy. Ugh. Where are the gold ones? Twenty-three. Ah, oh, I hate my life. All right, let's try some more. I'll try probably two or three more times. If I can't get it, I'll move on. Yes. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Aww, ten. <sighs> ay, ay, ay. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, aww, eighteen. Oh my god! That sucked. Okay. Come on. Three. Six. Seven. Oh. Nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, oh my god, it was so close, 23, 24, I'm going to stop at 24, um, 
and see what's up. That was some thumbing. Here's your prize. Next time, trying to get 26. Alright. Alright, let's try one. Let's try again. Try to get 26 this time. One, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, seventeen. Nice. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty. No, oh, come on. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Twenty-six. Easy. That was some thumping. Here's your prize. Next time, try and get 28 points. Got a frog coin. All right, let's see what 28 coins get, or 28 points gets me. Assuming I can get that. Fidoy is pretty quiet, man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Aww. Not doing so hot this time. 18, 21, 22, 25, 26. Man, that's pretty good. Oh, wait, I think I need a 20. Did I need 26 or 28? We'll find out. Okay, I need a 28. That was dumb. So yeah, this is all optional right here. I'm just trying to do it to get stuff, because stuff is always good to get. Ah, oh, I should have waited over there. There's a gold one. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Ah! Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, twenty-eight. Come on. Oh, what? One, two, three, four, five, eight, nine, ten. Ah! That sucked. Okay, I'm gonna try one more. Try to get to 28. One, two, three, four, five. S oh my god. Six. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Wow. Oh. Oh well. Okay. No more. Let us proceed.
Haven't fought these guys in a while. There goes that camouflage shy guy. Oh, I have a true form pin. I forgot. So I don't get turned into a scarecrow or a mushroom or a dildo or anything like that. Hey look, it's the giant frogs. Bye, giant frog. Sweet. So these you can fight the piranhas as normal, uh, but the little white things, um, if you jump on them, uh, you'll lose coins. They're very much, uh, well, they're the same as the little white things from Super Mario Bros. 3 uh, on the NES, which I should play that on here too. I think I mentioned earlier the thwomps as well. Uh, however, you cannot fight those in this game. Um, as far as I remember, anyway. That sucked. Oh yeah, I don't know, I'm trying to dodge that, he can't get turned. Paul and Nap, that sucks. Uh, when they're asleep, they can't do anything. They get skipped. But if they get attacked normally, they uh, they wake up. But since he got turned into a skeleton or a scarecrow, he can attack now. Jump, okay. Can't jump on a, power, a piranha plant, just like in the normal Mario games, except for Mario 64. That one you can jump on. Oh, I'm an idiot. I just said you can't jump on them, and I tried to jump on them. Got a pretty good HP to boost there. So, yeah. Um, as Flubber has pointed out, I do go with the attack ones. Uh, so I'm going to do that again. It's going to get more attack, more defense. He already got a good HP boost right there. Uh, and that one's only four. And that's only one and one. So, yeah. Three and two is better than the other ones. All right. Flower up there. Always good to have more flower points. Uh, 
I don't need... Actually, I guess I do need a few. Oh, well. Alright, so we are done with, uh, that place. The, um, what the hell is that called? It's not the Kuros here. I think it's a pipe vault. That's the one we just got done with. Um, went all the way to the end of it. Now we're on a place, as you noticed, was called, uh, Yoster Island. What is Yoster Island? Well, it's Yoshi Island! If you try to talk to them, they make the Yoshi noise. You can't understand them. However, if you talk to the green Yoshi... Mario, glad you finally made it to Yoster Isle, home of the Mushroom Derby. Say, now that you're here, we could use your help. Please talk to a few of my pals here and... What? You can't understand them? Well, hop aboard and I'll be your interpreter. Awesome. So now you can ride around on Yoshi. Um, the normal B button that makes you jump actually makes you jump off of him. Um, you can jump like this by hitting Y. Uh, you can't bring up the menu, but you can interact with things. Hey, there's a letter in here, but I can't read it. Okay. Moshi here is the fastest runner, but he's full of himself. Hey Yoshi, think you can beat old Boshi today? Of course! Here, take my cookies. Good luck, I'm rooting for you. Thanks, I've got major support on my side, so I can probably win today. Yoshi got some cookies. Boshi only races one on one, so everyone can't join us. Bummer. What? Are you cracked? Racing's my life. I could run all day. It'd be so much better if we could all race together. I'm gonna go check out this letter and snoop around. Commit a federal crime. There's a letter inside. Care to read it? Sure. Honeymoon reservations for two. Mushroom Travel Agency. Sounds like Rise and Rainy. So, you brought the cookies. All right. Consider yourself lucky today. You've got yourself a race. One on one. Hello again. Get ready. The Mushroom Derby is coming up. Want instructions? Sure. Press A and B alternatively. Alternately. Alternately. Eh. Along with the rhythm. The tighter the rhythm, the faster you go. Okay. Press the Y button during a race to eat a cookie. Its energy will help you go faster. Want instructions again? No. Keep alternating between the A button and the B button in time with the beat. Let's practice. This is kind of a little uh, difficult on an emulator. You're not getting it right at all. Are you sure you want to do this? I'll practice again. Like I said, hard to do on an emulator. There you go, that's the way. Now, shall we go to the race? Sure, why not? This is as easy as it gets, man.
Eat the freaking cookie! I hate you. Come back when you're serious. Now, I think those cookies there belong to me. Looks like I need a little more practice. Oh, well. Let's try it again sometime. Let's try it again right now. Give me your cookies. Oh. Give me those cookies. Let's go beat his ass. I don't know why I did that. Let's try again. Really? I'm gonna kill myself. Uh, okay, let's try one more time. Again, this is all optional. You don't have to do it, but it's another kind of fun mini game. Why did I... Uh, I keep doing the instructions. I don't need them. I just need to get good. You can do it! I hope so. Because if not, this is the last time I try. At least for now. I'll probably come back to it later. Oh, I'm an idiot. Go. Just use the cookies. Eat them. Alright. Wow, unbelievable. You just beat Boshi. Starting today, Yoshi's the new boss around here. Since when have you been able to sprint like that? Oh, well, I had my day in the sun. Let me give you a tip. Race someone slow. That way you'll be able to sash away the cookies. But we don't need a boss. Anyway, I just want to race. Come on, Boshi. Let's see what you're made of. Hmm. All right, just stay out of my way. Oh, here's the cookie stash for the winner. Thanks to you, Mario, I finally beat that rascal, and we can all race together now. Here's something to remember me by. Got a Yoshi cookie. You're carrying a lot of things. I'll store these two for you. Don't worry, I won't eat them. That makes a total of two. Next time you're in trouble during battle, use this to give me a call. You got it, Chief. Woohoo! Awesome. So, beating that, uh, the Pipe Vault, the Oster Isle, the Forest Maze, getting the star, that's pretty much part two. Um, two out of seven. 
Now, my question is, I don't know how many people are watching here. I think it's just Flubber. Uh, Yoshi is a summon, yes. Um, I think it's just Flubber that's watching right now, but should I continue playing? Or should I play a different game uh, to pass the time for a little while? Or call it quits? What do you guys think? Or what, what do you think? Let me ask in the chat. That might go a little faster. Is there a way to see who's actually in the chat? That would be nice. Hmm. Kind of want to see you play Chrono Trigger or a little more of this. Okay. Um. Hmm. Well, let me go ahead. Uh, I'll go ahead and play more of this, and then I will. Um, well, actually, what I'm going to do first, I am going to play a little bit more of this, but the, fir the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and end the stream for just a few minutes, uh, take it offline. Um, that way it'll save the file, um, so I have the whole, the entirety of what I've already done saved to a file uh, for part two. And then we'll go ahead and start part three in just a few minutes. Does that sound good to you? I'm thinking about 6.30, which is 11 minutes from now. You going to hang around? All right, well, uh, Flubber, uh, go ahead and um, stay online if you don't mind, and I will go ahead and close it out for a little bit here, and I'll be back in about 11, uh, probably about 10 minutes now. So 6.30 p.m. Pacific, uh, I will go ahead and be back. So, hey, thanks for watching, um, Flubber. Like I said, hang tight. I'll be right back. Thanks, man. Save that. And we'll go ahead and switch to uh, that. Nah, I haven't even turned it off yet. <laughs> uh, let's see. There we go. Awesome.